Move from just what you do to who you become. Second, move from meaningless vanity into a meaningful purpose of life. Two simple things that I want to leave with you today. Because God wants us to move forward. If you and I have to move forward, we have to simplify our life. Let's read one scripture. Ecclesiastics chapter 1 and verse number 2 and 3. Let's read that together. Vanity of vanities, said the preacher. Vanity of vanities. In Sanskrit they say, oh maya. I'm not talking about sister maya. I'm talking about vanity. Om maya, they say. All is vanity. I remember my Sanskrit teacher saying, Everything is Maya. Oh Maya, Shunya. <laughs> Everything is vanity. All vanity. It's there in the Bible. Go back to verse 2. Let's read that again. Come on, church. Vanity of vanity, said the preacher. Vanity of vanities. You thought only ladies' bag is called vanity bag. Everything is vanity. As if that is not enough, many people apply more vanity. You know who gets the most cosmetics on them? The ones that are getting buried. Don't bury yourself in a lack of who you are. Let your identity be who you are becoming in Christ Jesus. Let's read verse 3. What profit does a man or a woman have of all his or her labor which they take under the sun. You see, under the sun, oh, what a lovely experience. Under the sun, we're talking about being under the sun. Now, in Ecclesiastics, if you have to understand that book, you must understand the phrase under the sun means exclusion of God, excluding God. If you're going to just take the natural environment and the laws of physics and chemistry, molecular biology, and if you're just going to talk about the elements or the matter, you're just talking about human beings being another, you know, crescendo of animal kingdom, then you're talking about a world under the sun without God. Without God, everything is vanity. So long as you view yourself as stuck in some endless cycle of life and death from which you cannot escape, you actually haven't met your creator. And life is meaningless mysticism. Life is meaningless confusion. Life is meaningless efforts. It's just bundles of energy vibrating in different wavelengths, as some Gurujis will tell you. But that's not who you are. You are a person. You're not just some chemicals. You're not just some bundle of energy. You are an identity. You're a spirit being living in a body. And to have a simplified life, at least three things must come together. One is your passion. The other is your culture. And third is choosing your resistance. Passion is the thing that excites you. <laughs> it could be arguing a case as a lawyer for justice in the court. It could be treating a patient to see that they get well. It could be teaching the young people to give the next generation a chance to go beyond. Maybe your passion is cooking. For God's sake, start a good kitchen. Don't start a restaurant. If you're a good chef and passion is cooking, don't start a restaurant. Because restaurant is another business. Your, if your strength is cooking, start a kitchen. Find a friend who can take your food and sell it because that's another talent, another passion. A lot of times people become failure because they know what to do, but they also have to step into terrains of what they don't know and they hope they can make it work. If you're good in something, if that's your passion, find influence that can help stretch what you want to do. Second is culture. The values, the motivations, the things that make you happy and character, not just of you, but also of people around you. You know.